a volunteer with Common Ground. My husband and I are farmers and we live in Northeast Nebraska where we raise corn and soybeans and we have six kids. Today I'm going to make a recipe called Lazy Day Stew. And the reason I like it is because you take all the vegetables and potatoes and the meat and put it in one dish and then forget about it for the rest of the day until your family is ready to eat. I also like to make it to take to the field because it's the whole meal in one dish. Now before I start, I want to talk about one of the ingredients that we have in this recipe, carrots. And I love to serve my uh, family lots of carrots because they're very healthy. The thing is, there's kind of confusion today about what kind of carrots that are best to use. I like to feed my family the most healthy food possible. So I buy um, the different kinds of carrots. Now these carrots can be found in the grocery store. Um, they're pretty reasonable, they're not very expensive, and very healthy. Now you can choose to buy organic carrots, and I also have some of these too, and I like to buy these because they are from, they, I support my um, neighboring organic farmer, and I like to do that. Um, only thing that, that is different about the organic carrots is they don't use chemicals that maybe the people who raise, who, in the grocery store, the regular raised carrots do. But um, as long as you wash your carrots thoroughly, there's no nutritional difference between the two types of carrots. They're both just as healthy. And one thing, I, if you noticed on the um, carrots or organic carrots, you might find some um, holes from bugs, which is all right. You just cut those out. Another thing about organic carrots is they're only available about oh, two months of the year. Where your grocery store, your conventional carrots that you'll buy, they'll be um, ready, they'll be available every month of the year. So it just depends kind of um, what you want to buy. And luckily we have a very vast food choice when we go to the grocery store. I know there's been a great movement for growing your own food, and I want to show you that I did try to grow my own carrots this year, and I have a few here just to show you. And you can, as you can see, they're very small. I don't know how to grow carrots very well. And if I, I clean them and cut them up, I could use them in this recipe today. But it's easier for me to go to the experts and get the carrots that they grow. So this is how you put together Lazy Day Stew. I sprayed my 9 by 13 inch pan, first of all. And then I spread about two pounds of um, stew meat all over inside the pan. After that, I take two cut up potatoes, two or three cut up potatoes, and spread them on top of the meat. And we just spread them all over inside the pan. Then, I take one cup of celery, also cut up in bite sized pieces, spread those all around the pan, inside the pan. And then I take my carrots that are cut up into bite sized pieces, spread those all around. And then the last ingredient um, for my vegetables is one cut up onion put those all over inside, spread them all evenly throughout the pan. After I have the vegetables all spread out on top of the meat, the next thing we do is pour on top of that some tomato sauce. All across the pan, spread it out. And then after that, it, the recipe calls for just a little teaspoon of sugar for some flavor. And then salt and pepper, everything to taste. And then to make so it thickens up a bit, I use two teaspoons of tapioca. And you spread that all across the recipe. There we go. There. That's it. The next thing all you have to do is take a piece of foil and tightly seal it 
and it's ready for the oven. You just put it in the oven at 325 degrees for three hours. Don't open it. Don't tuck off the foil until after three hours is over, and then it's done. So uh, thanks for watching today, and remember that any type of carrots you use will be just fine and just as healthy. Just make sure you always scrub the carrots before you use them, and enjoy your lazy day stew.